I don't know if you know this, Amy, but Paris Hilton just got married. I saw. Oh my God. She looked beautiful. She, and I forget, I forget that Paris Hilton ages. I just figure like we all go on and she kind of just stays. In <laughs> she looks age. exactly the same as she did years ago. She looks the same. Yeah, she looks Here's amazing. Paris Hilton oozing elegance. You know, my cats are named after Paris and Nikki. <laughs> no, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And Nikki's 30, the, the Nikki's 38. She's my age. Also looks the same. Paris Hilton oozed elegance in her flower embroidered fairy tale worthy wedding dress. She had the fairy tale wedding of her dreams in her dresses. Yes, plural. Certainly lived up to our expectations. Yeah, I saw she had a couple dresses. I mean, as she should. She she married shock entrepreneur and venture, venture capitalist Carter mm -hmm. Rayum, the, the reality TV star, wowed in a show-stopping gown. She custom designed along Oscar de la Renta. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm sure she was like, I like white buttons. And he just right. took it from there. You know, like <laughs> I'm sure she really helped a lot. Yeah. Uh, complete with high neck and long sleeves, elegant pressed flower embroidery. Of course, Paris had several outfit changes, hiding uh, hiding up her sleeve for the reception, in addition to another custom Oscar de la All right, So Oscar de la Renta is sponsoring her wedding. Yeah, a bustier-styled cocktail dress, dress made of taffeta. That's what I've noticed that like a lot of these celebrities do. I saw this, uh, it was like this press release, like Kim Kardashian is seen in her, you know, whatever dress she wore to the mm -hmm. Paris Hilton wedding. She stopped by a bodega, and it's like, no, it's not so much she is stopping by a store. It's like it's like the deal is that is that she will be seen in public right. in this dress because she is, you know, whether they're a friend of hers, this designer, or that's just part of the deal. Deal like she will be seen in public with this dress because it's more right. name recognition for the designer. It's not like oh, celebrities are just like us. She's getting Gatorade and band aids. Right. No, it's like yeah, she's not going through the drive through at McDonald's just for the fries. Like. No. She's not doing that. I want to no. pull up. There was an. Oh, here we go. All the details on Paris Hilton's four engagement rings. So she what? has been engaged four other times now. Yeah. She's kind of like the Elizabeth Taylor of engagements. <laughs> Hold on. I got to block this turd from the chat. He, he comes back every five minutes with like a new uh, name. I don't mind negative comments as much. What I don't like is like consistent spamming. Spam. Yeah. It gets annoying. Don't ruin it for the class. All right. She's been engaged five times, but this one finally took. I I was made aware of her of her of this final engagement because I was listening to her podcast, Carl from Who Are These Podcasts. We we had to review her podcast, which I think it was called like I don't know. So I think Paris Hilton po podcast, and it was just such a thinly veiled advertisement for her her like juicy sweatsuit brand and like uh -huh. all these other. All, these, all of her other brands and it's just like there's no substance to it obviously it's just right. everything promotes one another so Paris Hilton engaged again they dated for one year entrepreneur Carter Ram who proposed to the socialite on February 13th just days before her birthday he spent a million dollars on the custom engagement ring they did a peaceful pre-dinner walk on the beach, and I turned. It turned into much more when Carter dropped to one knee, and then she dropped to both knees and blew him. No, that would be great. Um, she had to have known that she was getting proposed to because she wore like an all white. Like this was from her engagement. It's like, yeah, you're wearing all white. How did you? And right. a crown. And a crown. Come on, that's not your daily. I, I always wear a crown to dinner. <laughs> I always wear a crown to dinner. Ah. Uh, but this isn't the first time Hilton had an engagement ring on her finger. In 2018, a simple life star. Isn't that sad when they have to the reference the simple life? I think the biggest ring she life? had was from the shipping magnate, that Greek mm. guy. That was, was it like actor Chris one. Zilka? That was her no, 2018 it was like engagement. this big on her finger. It was like huge. It, that was a 20 carat pear shaped. Ugh, even if it's 20 carat, I don't want to see pear shaped. Mm. While Hilton and Zilka never made it to the altar, she ended engagement later that year. $2 million rock from Zilka was one for the history books. Before that, she was engaged twice to model Jason Shaw and the shipping heir, Paris Latsis. I heard about the shipping heir. I think he was the first one. The shipping, the shipping yeah. guy? All uh, right, here's 2002. This is how I kind of well, remember so maybe her. he was the first one, yeah. This looks like she got it out of a gumball machine. Like, <laughs> you could put that in a gumball machine and be like, oh, that's, a t that's $2. But maybe you just need to see it up close. Mm. That's too much. You can't wear that every day. I mean, I guess they're not really, you know, washing a lot of dishes or like, no. you know, folding up clothes or anything. 
No, they're not, you know, running to this target. They're not living a life where the ring is going to bump into something. They're it's, not they're going just, to the bodega. No, they're not. They're not <laughs> running to the bodega in the middle of the night to get dick pills. That's no. just not something they do. No. Um, I feel like Paris really pioneered like the low slung jean mm -hmm. look. You don't really hear from the other one, Nicole Richie, anymore. Yeah, she's uh, really low key now. It was eight years later. Hilton and Shaw engagement they only lasted a few months. I want to know what happens to these rings. Like, do you think she gets to keep them? Well, the rule is in etiquette: if the woman okay. breaks off the engagement, she's supposed to give the ring back. If he mm -hmm. breaks off the engagement, she is usually allowed to keep it. But so my plan is to get engaged and make them break up with me so I can keep the ring. But a lot of these celebrities, you know, everything is so legal that you sometimes they'll offer to purchase the ring or whatever. But like, why would you want a ring from somebody that you're you used to date? Yeah. Unless you're like in it for the in it for the jewels. Yeah, that would be sad. It would be sad memories. Yeah, it's not like you can wear it again. You know, oh my god! This is, ring. this is Paris Lotsis. So he was the se the shipping guy was uh, yeah. engagement number two. This was in two thousand five. Paris Lotsis. Oh my god! Paris in Paris. No yep. fucking way. They're like, we have to get engaged. We're both named Paris. Imagine they're just yelling each other's names out in bed. Did you I see Taylor like Lautner got engaged and his fiance is Taylor too? Oh god! Imagine they're just holding up mirrors, just Taylor and Taylor banging each other. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's so gaudy. But here's the thing is like if you're in proposing to Paris Hilton, you can't just show up with like Yeah, you 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 have to bring your A game. Something demure because I don't know, you wonder like is it hard for somebody like her to get engaged because like the the high the the caliber of man that she would even look at is so so high. There's maybe like 40 of them in the world that she could even that she would even contemplate, but there's a lot to gain on the guy side because they're 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 clued into like all the family, you mm -hmm. know, the family jewel, the family jewels, you know, the Hilton, yeah. you'd be a hotel tycoon. Everything I'm saying sounds like Monopoly, like out of the Monopoly game. Okay, so this proposal just came eight months after their relationship, uh, and it pr presented Hil uh, Paris Hilton with 15 different engagement rings. You know, I feel like too, these, these engagements happen so quickly for these celebrities because they don't have to put up with regular everyday lives. Look like, at her phone. Oh. Ah. Oh <laughs> yes, they're not living like a regular ass life. Right. Like they're not, not, you know, they could spend weeks holed up in a hotel together because they don't have to, you know, pick the kids up for soccer or go grocery shopping or plan the weekly meals. You know what I mean? That's they're just living whatever life they want. Yeah, and so many fights and breakups really come over financial troubles. Like that's mm -hmm. the, one of the number one reasons, number one or number two, that people get divorced is over financial struggle. Yeah. I feel like that's also one of the biggest reasons people stay together is they just can't afford to break it off. So they're just like, oh, we don't, we're never going to fight about money. Like imagine <laughs> being in a relationship where you just never fight about money. Right. We don't fight about money either. Look at this guy. <laughs> Does this look like a shipping tycoon? This guy looks like he has a freaking paper route. I think route. he's the son or the grandson of a shipping tycoon. Oh, he's shi right, the shipping heir. He doesn't even look like he knows his way to the UPS store. Freaking idiot. <laughs> and then engagement ring from Chris Zilka. Oh, this was the pear-shaped one. They. This was from 2018. He proposed to her on a mountaintop in Aspen. Ugh, typical. Gifted her a jaw-dropping pear-shaped 20-carat stunner. Cost $2 million. Yikes. That's too much. This is too much. But, I mean, she's going to events and things. That, that jewelry is totally normal. Right. But I also could buy this at Claire's <laughs> yes. for $12.99. Yes. Or at Home Shopping Network. Yes, come on. And that's the thing is like when you when you're a fancy person, you go to fancy events. Like you could wear just gaudy costume jewelry. Who's gonna know? Hilton only wore the engagement ring for ten months, and she split from the actor in November 2018. The relationship moved very fast, fast like Not a her. shipping like a shipping container, <laughs> and realized that it wasn't right for her. Eh, yeah, I want to know what what like what made these relationships end. Per TMZ, it was Hilton who called it off. She called it off in autumn, although California law required her to return the bauble. Oh, this is California law gets involved with your mm. baubles. 
<gasps> she reportedly had no intention of giving it back. Ooh, she yes. does not subscribe to polite society then. No, she's not an Emily Post subscriber, Miss Manners. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And finally, the engagement from Carter. I want to call him Rerun, but it's Riam. They were vacationing on a private island to celebrate. Her. Imagine they're just like, oh, Epstein Island is at a discount. Let's go. But we, we can't say that it's we're just going to say it's a private island. That's so funny. Let's come visit for two dollars. We're trying. Yeah, to we're in California. You're going to find an empty beach that you can take a photo shoot. True. Not you're not going to have like homeless people in the back, like mm -hmm. cracking out. Yeah, no. True. Although you could get a few like PAs to be like, OK, out of the way, peasants. That seems like a fun job. Oh, he's a DJ? Stop Ram, it. Ram chose an intimate walk on the beach as a perfect moment to propose to the DJ. Wait a oh, second. Who's the DJ? DJ? Oh, she's the DJ. That's what she's been doing. Yeah, nobody knows her as a DJ. Like, ask me to name 100 DJs. Right. First of all, I can't. I can name maybe one. I think she's one. a lot of things in Europe because she's very big in Europe. Ugh. That's what happens. These rich maybe people. They, they and all that, yeah. They have a lot of time on their hands and then they have to try things like DJing and painting. Yeah. Like Hunter. Although the newest engagement ring bears a slight resemblance to, to a ring of the past. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, yeah, of course. I mean, there's only so many shapes you can pick. Yeah, this new rock is unique in many ways. Ram tapped famed jeweler Jean Dosé. Really, he didn't just show up at a K Jewelers and be like, that one. He didn't go to Jared. No, he didn't. He went to Jean Doucette, uh -huh. Doucette, douchebag, the, gr the great, great grandson of Louis Francois Cartier to design a cut. Everything has to be custom for these people. Uh -huh. I sound like such a salty hoe. Uh, fittingly named Paris. Oh, the, the, the ring is called Paris. The engagement ring features 10 to 20 carat emerald cut center stone. I don't understand all these, this gem, like this gem talk. I'm just like, all right, as long as it doesn't fall out of the setting, that's great. Right. That's, that's what my, my mom, her engagement ring, I remember, God, I'll never forget. She was vacuuming, and then she was like, ah, fuck. And then she, the, the rock fell out of her oh my God. ring. And we never saw it again. And just like that. Aww. And then, like, me and my brother and sister I, like, were like, we all had, like, a comb, and we're, like, going through the, like, brown, like, living room carpet. Aww. Like, we're all looking through it. We didn't find it. And then, uh, yeah, it just was a funny. I'm like, man, just like that, so much money can be zipped up the gate. I wonder if she looked in the vacuum. I don't know. I would, I'm sure she did. I would hope so. Yeah. That sucks, though. It's like you want to make sure your prongs are right. Right. Um, okay. Uh, wow. Again, yeah, you get, of course, this one was also a million dollars, which is shockingly what? less than her former rings. I don't know how she would accept a, an only a million dollar ring. It's like he doesn't even love her. <laughs> he should be embarrassed. He should hang his head in shame. Despite Hilton's three previous engagements, she has yet to walk down the aisle. We're hoping, yeah, they got married on my freaking birthday. They got married on Thursday. <laughs> and all right. Okay. So they did it. They finally did it. You don't just show up wearing these gloves. Right? These like studded like, Swarovski crystal yeah. gloves. Michael I, Jackson I meets Prince. The story yesterday, and it was a big hit. <laughs> uh, wish her the best. Good luck, Paris. Good luck, Paris. 